All right, so I'm going to show you guys my uh, Lilith build. Maybe one of you guys can take it, tweak it, and kill her with double swing. So what I'll do is first I'll show you the fight, and then I'll show you the build. The basic idea is we're going to be having as much fury as possible to get full advantage of these increased damage with the more fury. You know, like this one, 60% when you overcap, and 30% more damage with the more fury, and this one, the sword. The, the, this is how you're going to get big hits when she's not stunned. So it's super important. Uh, I'm also using the attack speed potion. I find it gives better DPS than the crit one. So the idea is we're going to build up fury and then alternate between uh, lunge and double swing to get because we'll have a bunch of fury. So go ahead and show the fight and then I'll explain the build. So we're building up fury and here we go. Throwing a stun. Make sure you weave in pulverize or a mace skill. I want to show you here why it's important to alternate. Because if you were to just spam Fury, notice, or spam the double swing, notice how I weak they are. Fury. So they're only hitting like 300, whereas um, that is right. This is the only time you should uh, spam double, double swing. Outside of that, you want to make sure you have max Fury to do like the biggest hit. And that right there is why I'm hoping someone else can take up the mantle, because I can't do that part. Anyways, so let me show you the build. Um, we're having the attack attack speed when you core skill. Um, that's very important. With the boots, we're having the stun while bleeding uh, to help build up the stagger. And also, you want to make sure you have fury cost reduction on there as well. Damage reduction with uh, basic basic attacks plus whatever damage reduction you can get in your gear try to get as much damage reduction while fortified uh, to help keep you healthy uh, this one the basic attacks increase core damage because um, you're alternating a basic attack every time so it's nice to get an extra 9% damage on your core skill uh, iron skin I don't even use it for this fight so it's kind of left over but whatever armor one with the attack speed you have, this is pretty much capped and helps keep you nice and healthy. Then, of course, we have the damage with the more uh, resource you have. This is very important, the 20% while uh, using the walking arsenal. It's, it makes a big difference in keeping your fury up. Um, I don't know if you noticed in the beginning of the fight how fast I was full of fury, right? Um, attack speed with basic with uh, basic attacks and overcapping fury gives you more damage and then um, more damage is done for when she gets staggered and then of course you have this legendary as for the expertise we're going to two-handed expertise and uh, with lunge we're using the two-handed sword so that way she's always bleeding for the abilities I like to use two basic attacks you don't have to, but this makes it super easy to keep the walking arsenal buff up. Just throw in a basic attack every I don't know, every few seconds or so. 
and then the line just getting the berserking. Double swing is getting the vulnerability talent. This is important. 15% more fury with two-handed weapons. Uh, this, with all the fury stuff we have between the fury generation and the reduction of fury, th that's what's going to make it so one bludgeoning strike after you double swing will give you 60% extra damage from overcapping your rage. So it's really important. Uh, stomp, help build up the stagger. This for a little bit of extra damage. Movement speed to help with the waves, even though you still die from them. Um, damage reduction while berserking. More fury generation. These two, which pretty much everyone takes. Um, this, although I don't think it works on her, I don't think she gets slowed, so it's kind of a waste of point when you're fighting her. But it does help with the ads, so. And then we got the chain grip, which you don't even really need this lunging strike. I guess it will help with the ads. Fortify stuff. This is really good. Especially the 12% damage because you're fortified most of the fight. And then this right here, it doesn't seem like much when you swap weapons against 6 Fury, but it makes a huge difference. Um, I would definitely recommend using that. Uh, and then, you know, healing Fury and then walking arsenal. I know people like to use unbridled wrath, um, but it takes way more fury, so you're having to do more um, basic basic attacks, right? Not only that, but since I have core damage on my gear, the double swings are only hitting for like an extra 200,000 a crit, so it's really not that good uh, for this specific build. So walking arsenal is the way to go. As for Paragon, uh, the first one I'm using Critical Strike Core Damage. Uh, this board, I don't know the name of it, but it has uh, Decimator in it. I'm not using it, but that's the board. And we're using the Magic Node to get the 8% uh, one-handed weapons. Um, not using the one that, for, that does vulnerability for 3 seconds because you don't really need it. Plus, it only gives like an extra 12% vulnerable damage. So, this is... This will provide more damage. This board, uh, which is the flawless technique one, has a bunch of willpower here. So I'm using the damage while healthy. And you saw, like, most of the fight, you're healthy. So you're getting an extra 107% more damage. Uh, and also taking the crit strike one. This board is the blood rage one. And has a lot of strength, so we're using the damage with axes one. And which also gives 12% crit damage. Uh, then we also got the damage to bleeding. This board, uh, this is the only one where I take a legendary node because this will basically keep you fortified throughout the entire fight, which will help keep you healthy, which will, you know, help out. Uh, it's really good. And finally, this is going to be the weapon swap one. 18% crit chance plus 162% damage. That's 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 pretty massive. This will help keep you berserk with your lunging strike and uh, putting out more damage. Anyways, uh, that's the build. Uh, I give up. I can't. You know, I rarely ever get through the phase with the ads because the waves are just too random. But anyone can feel free to take this type of build, tweak it, kill it, do whatever. Because uh, I want to see someone kill it with double swing, and I know some of you guys can do it. Uh, with that said, uh, that'll do it, and I hope you all have yourselves a great day. All right.